I was speaking to Peter Odewingi, who was doing a, a program together, and uh, we were saying that the, if you look at the pitches at, at the moment in, in, at, in Afcon, it's not the best. So players are trying to do their utmost best to try to play the game of football, which you try to do as a professional. But I'm sure with uh, better conditions, you'll see better football and more goals. At the moment, uh, there's a lot of bubbles, and the players are trying to adjust as best as they can. So I think the conditions doesn't help. Um, the quality is there, for sure. The quality is there. I do think if the conditions are much better, um, you'll see more goals. A few and out and out stars, I have to say. Uh, Yaya is outstanding player. Um, you can see this reason he plays for. He's played for all these great clubs like Barcelona and Manchester City, and he's an important figure at City now. And um, I do think uh, we need some more other players. I mean, Eto was. The, at this time was, was uh, one of the best players in Africa, but we, I think, do think the other players need to step up the game and, and challenge Yaya, because at the moment I don't see anyone out there that I can say um, that's outstanding or better than Yaya at the moment. Hopefully Bonnet will, will push him now that he's a city, um, but that comes down to him scoring more goals and then playing good football, but uh, at the moment I, I don't see anyone better than Yaya. So the last game I have to say, I actually saw Algeria um, play to their full ability and uh, they got the result. The first two games they, I wasn't uh, I was impressed because I was expecting them to come in and, and play good football and, and, and win, win convincingly because the players they have. Uh, Figuri especially who plays for Valencia, Ibrahim who plays for Porto. I mean they got players all over, quality players and uh, um, they were very fortunate to, to beat South Africa. Uh, the second game, um, Ghana, um, not outplayed them but uh, it gave them a tough game and they managed to get the result against them. Um, like I said, the one I mentioned before uh, that stood out to me by far He's just, I just couldn't believe it. I said, when I saw him, I was asking people, you know, first of all, what is this guy doing uh, at Wolves? And like I said, no disrespect to Wolves, he's just, he's, um, he's been miles ahead of everyone, everyone else. And if it, when you see his goal against the Ivory Coast, the finish is from the highest standard. If it was Messi or Ronaldo, we'd still be talking about this goal. But um, it's in difficult conditions, and for him to manage to score that goal, I uh, just showed you the quality he's got, and not just that, his all-round play has been fantastic. Uh, his strength is unbelievable, and like I said, he's been a big, big surprise for me. And, um, I'm sure a lot of managers, and I, I'll be very surprised if I don't see him in the, or in the, in the Premier League in the next few months.